all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free, I'm oh, a sweet baby Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful week. While we were doing this mandala painting and we she confessed that she doesn't like this present room of hers. It doesn't feel like hers. And I realized what she was trying to say. This room genuinely lacks any character. I kept it simple because this room works as the guest room as well. With that said, I made sure that nothing is too kid like in the room. We barely have stay over guest in our house. It's always our parents or some really close friends who come to stay with us. And I'm sure they would love to see Ishi's room and her thoughts come to life. Room makeover, I'll do it in a two part series. This one, I'm just sharing some organizing and organizers which I have created out of almost zero waste. These hairband organizers are made from these non-woven basket that we get with almost everything. With the help of hot glue gun, I have created loops and then I'll stick it on piece of a cardboard. We get paper bags with vegetables to medicines but they have multiple use, one of them being a drawer divider. With two strips of cardboard and multiple strips of non-woven bag or fabric, I have created this beautiful hair clip organizer. I have shared this hack with you guys multiple times. I use always a strong adhesive tape behind any of the stick-on hooks. In case of this clip organizer, I have also attached it from the bottom with some sticky tape. If you have clips with gold polish, I would highly recommend them to keep in airtight boxes like so. Bubble wrap also came from Amazon packaging and I am reusing that. Using stick-on towel rack and empty paper roll, I will organize all the scrunchies. It 
was late evening and she wanted pancakes for dinner she can demand few things over the weekend weekday we keep it strict vegetarian highly nourishing food I have shared the recipe in the description box for you. Flip. Take it full, take it full and then flip. Ooh. Awesome. God, what expressions is she? <laughs> Let it cook. <laughs> Why am I getting all half cooked pancakes? <laughs> okay, it's cooked. It's cooked. She created a tower of pancake. <laughs> With the leftover pancake batter, I have added some mixed berries. some lemon zest and a tablespoon of lemon juice next day i finished working on this cabinet and attached all the organizers and organized all the toys as well is she helped through and through the choice of hanger remained the same as in the previous wardrobe organization these are velvet cover hangers and slim enough this helps me to organize all her t-shirts and on one hanger we hang multiple t-shirt of similar color profile or fabric profile using these hanging baskets it helps me to create additional shelves and each cube holds t-shirt shorts night suits few warm jackets and at the bottom i have added this organizer where all her swimsuits are kept neatly here in this basket i keep all her bags and just below that is her all dresses i have used these paper bags to organize vertically all the dresses utilizing the maximum space in the next drawer i have used these plastic organizers which i had already I organized all her hats and caps snuggled in one at the back of this vertical shelf. On the other side of the hanging shelf in one of the Amazon boxes I have organized all her art file and art supplies.
The next two shelves were all about toys and some items which are not used on day to day basis. If you have lots of board games try using net bags. It reduces the bulk from the carton boxes. For small little knickknacks you can use these containers. At the back of these IKEA boxes I have two large boxes where all her pottery wheel MDF board puzzles and stuff like that stays and on this side I have a little space where her rubber band bracelet making and all the board game boards stay organized in this cotton box these two pink baskets are the DIY wherein I store couple of knickknacks like shuttlecock boxes, her holy ki pichkari and on the other box is all her ethnic wear. I organize all her occasionally used hair accessories like Jura or Jura covers which are required in her stage shows are kept here. I have used all disposable containers or the containers in which they come. For today's lunch, I am making some delicious vegetable pasta and strawberry mango mojito and I'll also take out some of our very berry pancake muffins. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should I'm using gluten free pasta made up of beetroot and spinach and while boiling pasta I'll add a steamer on top and add some broccoli florets. In this pasta recipe, I am going to use a lot of vegetable and very little pasta. I cook everything and then add the white sauce, top it up with some cheese and bake it further. Mango mojito 
is super simple. I am also adding some strawberries to these but you can always skip this. Ripen mango, some fresh strawberries, couple of basil leaves and handful of mint leaves. To this I will add pink Himalayan salt, some black salt, a teaspoon of chaat masala and blend it. I hope this video was helpful for you in organizing little knickknacks. If you enjoyed this video and watched till here, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a sweet comment in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, bye bye. And here's an